Hey, Christine. What was that you were saying yesterday about the effects that the Eucharist has on us? We have his heart literally, physically beating within our own body so that we can go from the Mass and see the world, see the Church, see the truth through his eyes. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. I'm just repeating what I heard the shadow priest say. Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Friday, January 23rd, 2015. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. Hundreds of thousands of pro-lifers marched in Washington, D.C. to protest the 42nd anniversary of Roe v. Wade yesterday. Estimates report as many as half a million marchers at the rally, which was largely ignored or downplayed by mainstream media. Pope Francis, in solidarity with the marchers, tweeted, Every life is a gift. President Obama took the occasion as a chance to praise the Supreme Court's 1973 decision, saying abortion, quote, reaffirms a fundamental American value. Boston Cardinal Sean O'Malley is telling pro-lifers not to be like Judge Judy. The Cardinal spoke at the March for Life Vigil Mass in Washington, D.C. Wednesday and began his homily with an anecdote about Oprah Winfrey before stressing the need for joy and love in the witness of pro-lifers as opposed to the caustic TV personality, Judge Judy. Cardinal O'Malley dismayed many Catholics last year when he attended Boston College's commencement ceremony, in spite of the fact that pro-abortion Catholic John Kerry was the keynote speaker and received an honorary degree. As a result, hundreds of Catholics asked that he resign as chairman of the U.S. Bishops Committee on Pro-Life Activities. The Cardinal refused. The president of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines is defending the desecration of the Eucharist at the Papal Mass earlier this week. A major Filipino news station covered criticism of the sacrilege and interviewed Archbishop Socrates Viegas, who responded that desecration occurs only from not loving Jesus in the Mass. He went on, saying, The situation was extraordinary. Six million people. On this occasion, it was necessary to help each other receive communion. The event, after which consecrated hosts were reportedly found in the mud, was in clear violation of the general instruction of the Roman Missal. Catholic Charities USA is praising Obama's State of the Union address delivered Tuesday. Outgoing President Father Larry Snyder praised Obama's social justice talking points, like immigration reform, poverty, and education. No comment from Father Snyder, however, on Obama's claim that so-called gay marriage is, quote, America at its best. Father Snyder will be replaced as head of Catholic Charities by Dominican sister Donna Markham, former president of the dissident group Leadership Conference of Women Religious, currently under investigation by the Vatican. Fox News anchor Brett Baer is confirming Fox News had him pull out from speaking at a Catholic group's event because of the group's politically incorrect views on homosexuality. Baer says in an email Friday, I pulled out of the speech at Fox's request. The main reason cited is the controversy surrounding the group's magazine articles calling homosexuality a disorder. Bear, a Catholic, states, describing homosexuality as a disorder and talking about ways to cure people from it does not seem to line up with the loving, accepting church that I know, nor does it match up with how Pope Francis has talked about the issue recently. But the catechism calls same-sex attraction, quote, objectively disordered. To see Church Militant's dispatch on gay-friendly Fox News, see our resource page. A close aide to Pope Emeritus Benedict is acknowledging Pope Francis has made confusing statements that have needed clarification. In a wide-ranging interview Wednesday, Archbishop Georg Gansfein remarked, quote, corrections are necessary when certain statements lead to misunderstandings. He also touched on the debate over communion to the divorced and remarried, clarifying that there is no opposition between doctrine and discipline. The papal secretary condemned the increasingly popular notion that Benedict is an anti-pope, calling it stupid and irresponsible. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about being gay at the Vatican. Thanks for tuning in. Please share churchmilitant.tv news with your friends. See us on Facebook and Twitter, and may God bless you.